Yeah, now I'm recording and streaming at the same time. That's... This is fine. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Uh, you made this. You can't complain. <laughs> yes, read. <laughs> Come visit me, angst, fluff. The weather was immaculate. The wind swayed the trees gently and placed a refreshing breeze over Jung's face. He sat there under a tree, interlacing the slightly... Ah, uh, oh, fuck, do I really have to read all of this? <laughs> why did you do this to me? Wh why? <laughs> yes, you should have muted me, because I'm not doing this. The weather was immaculate. The wind swayed the trees gently and placed a refreshing breeze over Dream's face. He sat there under a tree, his hand interlacing with the slightly dewy grass. Looking over the fields, he observed the wildlife and grass dance to its imaginary rhythm. His head made a slight sound as it grazed the bark of the oak tree behind him. <laughs> the sun warmed his face and hands with its glow. He picked a daisy from one side of himself, admiring its beauty. He fiddled with its stem for a moment. Knock, knock, a mysterious voice exclaimed or tapping on the tree, which made Dream swirl around to stare the young boy in the face. His smile edged him to his ear. It's... Oh, fuck. When he recognised him. George, Dream exclaimed. You scared the hell out of me. <laughs> he gave him a smack on the leg. <laughs> I'm in physical pain. <laughs> You know what, just just to spite everybody who watches this later, I'm uploading this entire clip clip straight to YouTube. <laughs> Dream exclaimed, you scared the hell out of me. He gave him a smack on the leg. George stared back at him. The fluffy hairs on his face drifted as the wind blew. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing out here, Dreamy? Move over. Dream, George whined as Dream shuffled over. The other boy placed himself to side Dream, their shoulders slightly bruising. You 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 forgot a lot of commas in this. I'm I'm running out of breath. I want to autoerotically asphyxiate myself. Wait no. <laughs> Using pet names now, are we? Dream said in a hushed tone while still staring at the small flower lying in his hands. What's that? George said. He lifted up his sunglasses and pointed to the flower. His hand lightly over Dream, ignoring his statement. Dream. He simply looked up above the sun, gradually drifting across the sky. Can you make me a promise, George? Dream said solemnly. George's brown eyes darted towards the taller boy. He shrugged. Depends. What is it? Dream's eyes stared towards the grass, fiddling with the flower once again. The silence overpowered them. George could tell something was up. <laughs> George pulled the arm of Dream's hoodie and stole the flower from his hands. Dream looked up in surprise, startled by the other boy's actions. George began working away at the flower, tying all types of knots into its stem. Ha, <laughs> knots. It would be funnier if it was furries. <laughs> Moments later, he presented it to Dream once again. Their eyes met, and Dream blushed at George's handiwork. A ring? Dream spoke. Are you proposing to me or something? George placed the ring back in Dream's hands. Whatever promise you want to make, say it, and then I keep the ring to prove I'll never break it. Yes, yes, you you should feel this way. Your story is bad and you should feel bad. <laughs> okay, fine. He got closer to George, shuffled until their foreheads practically touched. They were face to face. Uh, yo, what about COVID distancing? Like, come on guys, it's 2021. <laughs> they were face to face. Dream placed the ring onto George's finger and Dream spoke. Wherever I am. Come visit me. Jesus. This is in Minecraft too? Jesus. Yes, you should delete it. <laughs> the glow of the lava lit up the room. The obsidian under his hands hurt its rugged surface, bruised his palms. The You really need commas. You really need commas. His golden hair flipped over onto his face. A perpetual brown uh, frown sitting on his face, deep scars covering his face. You used face a lot. <laughs> the papery orange jumpsuit made him feel uncomfortable. His back leaning against the wall making his neck ache. He was utterly alone. He devoted most days running his hands across the walls and carrying his steps, trying to think of a way out his mind. That yet his mind ran a blank. The mind. 
this makes me lose brain cells. <laughs> God is dead, they can't let you die. The mining party made him con constantly tired, and the limited food always left him hungry. He hadn't vote spoken in months since he took a vow of silence. He had lost hope. That's when he heard it, murmuring. He noticed two people talking on the other side of the lava. He immediately shot up and ran towards the lava wall, as close as he possibly could without burning his blonde locks. They were making small talk on the other side of the magma lake. The wall fell and the never right barrier popped up as and the lava lowered the silhouetted figure. Standing on the other side, stared into his soul. As the re bridge reached the cell, his eyes met the man. It was George. His tear-stained cheeks were t painfully obvious, and he was almost shaking. As the lava fell back and they were enclosed in the cell, the barrier was back down. Dream slowly shoveled towards George, reaching out to hug him. They were staring the boy, he was staring the boy up and down. He approached his bare feet, scraping him across the floor. He was standing frozen in front of George. Suddenly, George's hand swept up and meet James' cheek with a slap. <laughs> That's the best thing to come out of this so far. Having it come up in a plagiarism checker for an article for smacking your kids. Um, blood washed into Dream's face and he pulled his hand up to the mark, his jaw dropping. Jaw dropping? Jesus, I am tired. His jaw dropping as he took a glance back at George. George's hands balled at his side, tears beginning to scream furry, furry, furiously down his face. Steaming against his cheeks and running down his neck, it was an endless river that had overcome him. His glasses streamed as he whimpered. Fuck, how could you? George screamed, his voice crackling as he spoke. The tears stif stifling his words. Dream stood before the boy and locked him in his chocolate brown eyes. Why are you here? <laughs> uh, George retorted, sque squeezing his fist tighter. I'm here because of your stupid promise. Still crying, he thrust his hand toward Dream. It's flower now dry and less vibrant and still tightly coiled around his index finger. George now stood there quietly, sniffling as Dream stared in awe at the band. He chuckled. Is this some kind of joke? George's face went bright red, still silent. Why have you come here to make fun of me, huh? Dream shouted. Haha, <laughs> funny man. Now, if you've got no reason to be here, I suggest you leave. Dream made his way back over to where he sat. Instead, the fuck, and stared towards the ceiling. George crumbled, his knees collapsed, and he kneeled on the floor, his elbows digging into bedrock, his tears poured on his glasses lenses. His disorientated hair, fuck, veiled his face as he cried. He sat there for minutes until he got up and walked over to Dream, still sniffling slightly, and placed himself next to Dream. He leaned up against Dream and fiddled with the ring on his finger. Dream looked down at the boy, regretting his actions. I'm sorry, Dream spoke. I didn't mean to... He got himself off. Dream placed his hand on George's and squeezed slightly. <laughs> I'm sorry. Dream whispered into George's ear and wrapped his arm around the small boy. George leaned him to him further and slowly started crying again. I missed you. George uttered. I know. Me too. Dream replied. George closed his eyes and began to hum under his breath. Dream titled George, tilted George's head, his head up to his own and moved their faces closer to each other. He whispered in a deep tone. I'm glad you came to visit me, George. Yes, I can't read. I am very dyslectic. Also, Brendan Yuri is daddy. <laughs> You're pretty proud of this. You're pretty proud of this. Jesus. If there's anything wrong with it, come t tell me and I'll fix it, no problem. Yes, delete it. Please. It causes me physical pain. <laughs> Yes, you're you're very proud of it. <laughs> ten out of ten art, ten out of ten writer, twenty twenty.